Hey friends, I'm Stacy. And I'm Kevin. And today is a very cold and rainy day, but we're still excited because we are in the middle of a cargo trailer camper conversion build. And we've gotten a really, we've come a long way. We've done a whole bunch of stuff. We've gutted everything, started from the very bottom and started putting everything back in. And today we are on... Shelving. Shelving in the front nose cone so that we can uh, have places to put things. So let's get at it. All right, so our first step in building the shelves is we're actually going to uh, make a template for the cone so that we know exactly how to cut the plywood for the top of the shelving. Okay, so we have a uh, piece of cardboard uh, template that we actually use for the flooring. And the nice thing about that is it basically gives you the angles that you want. So what we can do is we can trace this angle on to things and also we can use it for if we're cutting uh, cutting any boards on any angles that will go into the nose cone that'll help us figure out the angle so it's just a uh, an easy way to uh, get your angles so we're going to go ahead and make the shelf come to the very top of the fridge we're going to use these furring strips to go ahead and create our frame and then we can attach this to the front to give us a little lip because you always need a little lip because you're moving a lot in this and you don't want yourself to fall out and then we'll put some cargo nets on top of that um, on the front however what I was thinking was we have a lot of natural wood in here and this looks nice as well we can start with just using the natural wood and not painting and see how that looks and then if we want to paint it white, we can later. It'll be a little bit more time. It'll be a little more intensive because we'll have to tape things off if we decide to paint. But that way, if we decide to just use tongue oil and bring out the natural wood, we have that option as well. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build our floor base on the side that will come up along the side of the fridge. So we're gonna measure out and do the floor, get all the angles correct to begin with. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mark where we're going to have the fridge with some tape on the floor so that we always make sure we get it back in the right spot each time. I'll do one on each corner. All right, so we got our first set of angles situated. So we're going to leave that. We're going to put the fridge back in place. We're going to go to the other side. We're going to figure out our angles on that side. It's not exactly even on each side, so we can't just duplicate this. So we want to make sure that it fits exactly the way it needs to fit. And when we did the rescue wagon, we didn't do it inside the cargo camper. And we did it outside using the measurements. And somehow it got a lot bigger than what we intended. And now we have much bigger shelves, which is fine and it's good. But we learned our lesson. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and shorten and, well, we're gonna make this side of the shelves a little bit smaller on the left of the fridge because right now the fridge opens this way, but speaking from experience, it's a lot better if your fridge opens this way. So when you're standing at the door, you can lean over, open the fridge, grab something out without having to come all the way in to the cargo camper. Just gonna make a couple adjustments. That is a tip for all of you out there who are doing your own cargo camper. So what you're gonna do is once you have your pieces cut, you're gonna sand one side and both edges. So then when you put the tongue oil on it, it's, it absorbs easier. All right, so now we are ready to go ahead and put the legs on the bottom shelf. So we're gonna mark them and then we're going to drill holes in through the bottom so that, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> so that we can screw them in. So, do you want to mark these? Yep. Okay, so let's so do this, do one, this first. one first. So, we are actually completely customizing this as we go along because a trailer just doesn't have consistent measurements. Now that we have the legs screwed into the base, but see the base is still not screwed down or put together. So now we're going to start screwing this down to the floor and the wall. We're gonna screw and staple. 
Okay. So let's do this one first. What's that? So we are going ahead now and doing the other side. We've finished this side and we have the first layer. So now we're going to do the other side so then we can put the top on. The next step, now that we have our structure in here and our, our basically our frame of our shelf, we are going to put in pieces here to hold the top of the countertop. So now we're mapping out the cut that we need to make for our first countertop. Feels right. So now we are going ahead and we are starting on the second shelf and so we're kind of doing the same process. We're just building it up. So we put a piece of wood, just the same wood on the front and we layered it just so that we have a finished look and we are also going ahead and we are adding a divider on this shelf so that things don't roll around when you're driving. Taylor wanted to make sure that she had some space on either side that would stay separate from one another. So we're simply just building a little divider with the wood. So now we're putting on the second shelf. Yeah, I got it. So basically we kind of, with, with everything not being exact when we're dealing with the cargo trailer, we have to lay it in, see where we need to shave off a little or sand off a little, and then go back out and take a little off. Okay, so we have the top shelf on. It looks great in here. And now we're just gonna put a little, we're gonna take another board and just put it on the end so we have a little bit of a lip to hold in anything that might be on the shelf and also just for the aesthetics so that it looks finished. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. All right, the shelf looks beautiful. And it the wood looks really pretty in here. So we're gonna go ahead and keep it the wood color, we're not going to use any kind of paint. Instead, we're just gonna rub it down with some tongue oil and bring out that natural wood grain. To finish the shelves, we've purchased a paper towel holder, we have a fruit basket, and we have some cargo nets that we're gonna put in front of the shelves. And then also for our shelving area, we are also going to put a shoe holder on the back of the door to provide some additional storage space. So to put up the cargo nets, they come with these really cool little uh, round holders. So you just screw these into the sides and then the cargo net has a loop on the end and you just loop it around this little top so it holds it in place and you can take it off. They're super handy and very convenient. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and drill a hole first because this wood is small and the screws are bigger and it cracked the wood. So I would suggest if you're, depending on how big the wood is that you're screwing into, you may need to drill a hole first. in there. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay. This is like One thing to note too is on the bottom, when you put the cargo net on the bottom, when you have a little bit of room right here, two things. One, a lot of times inside here, you're gonna have taller items, so that's not gonna be an issue. Also, you use this a lot to put stuff in, and when you put stuff in there, it drags down and, and fills that in as well. So since we're using a couple of our own screws on these, 
they end up being a shiny silver instead of the black that comes with all this so we're just going to take a sharpie and mark over the top so they match so the next thing we're going to put up is a paper towel holder it is so valuable to have a paper paper towel holder in your cargo camper and especially right next to the door so one of the things that we learned from our cargo camper is that some of the things that drive you crazy are little things like we have our paper towel holder up on the ceiling up high and what drives me crazy is when i'm outside which is most all of the time because you don't spend your time in a cargo camper you're outside enjoying the outdoors and when you're cooking or you're doing anything outside and you need a paper towel you'd have to actually get up into the cargo camper and I know that sounds weird like you're just having to take a few steps but it's so much more convenient to have everything so that like you can reach your fridge from just standing outside in your paper towels it's so be so convenient to be able to reach those as well so we're gonna put the paper towel holder right here so you can reach it right from the outside and we'll add later another one that will allow us to have a towel holder as well so you've got your towel and your paper towels really convenient from the outside so to finish up this shelving we're gonna go ahead and put some uh, shoe holder on the back of the door which is gonna give us a lot more shelves if you will we're gonna pick this spot right here so that we have the seam already here we won't cut into the seam we'll just come right underneath it now you definitely could sew this up um, if you wanted to hem it but we don't have a sewing machine so now we're gonna take this industrial strength velcro which is like cement <laughs> I used it in my cottage which is my class C on our dinette and I couldn't even get the cushions off <laughs> so I guess they when it shows pictures of them hanging tools with it they're not kidding <laughs> So now we're going to cut these pieces and we're going to use the self-adhesive to put it on the back of these. Now we're ready to go ahead and put this on the back of the door. So now we're going to take the bottom of the shoe holder and we're going to make a little shelf on the wall. You're going to be shocked at how much you use these. <laughs> <laughs> like I use we use ours non-stop you know what I never even noticed in yours that that was the bottom of the yeah thing. we use it all the time we have the shelving done and it looks great and it's super functional there's a lot of space and it's going to be the perfect addition to the cargo camper so for a list of the tools that we use, the items that we used in this project, for tips and tricks and for step-by-step -step instruction and more, you can go to our website at www.befreebenson.com or if you forget the link, you can click in the description below. And if you found value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. And remember, doing things yourself, stepping outside the box allows you to be free. See you in the next video. And with our our classy. <laughs> Where are you going? Honey, <laughs> doing these. No, cabinets. start that over because first of all, you didn't tell them about the website, oh. and then you're like saying, and I was going up like this. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I had to go back down. <laughs> right, hold on, I'm, I'm freaking crying now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Be not ready. <laughs> 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 <laughs>